Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. How are you today? Don't forget, be the reason why somebody will smile. Do a token of goodness. Do a token of kindness. Let, you, let somebody remember you for good. Today's zone is quite interesting. Aisha Buhari tells Buhari bitter truth about the northern youth. It is hard time that um, somebody tells her husband, you know, the truth. Oh, you know, everything here is political. Uh -huh. Don't be deceived. Do all these colors, they are all distractions. So, But anyway, let's hear what she has to say, what she has told Buhari this time. Let's go to the news. Aisha Buhari tells... Buhari, the truth about the northern youths. Arowa Youth Conservative Forum has commended Aisha, wife of President Muhammad Buhari, for being outspoken and telling her husband the bitter truth. It was contained in a statement Tuesday night by Yaman Shita, President. The group said Aisha has continued to tell her husband the truth despite the silence of those around him. Daily Post recorded that since Buhari assumed power in 2015, the president's spouse has comments on government and national issues which affect the masses. In 2018, Aisha Buhari commended the primary election and condemned it, the conclusion of all that all progressive Congress did in some states. She spoke out. She did not keep quiet. She spoke against APC conduct and how they carried out the election. In 2019, she questioned the distribution of 500 billion Naira social investment program formed by the Nigerian government. She did not keep quiet. She alerted Nigerians about the program, the 500 million, and in her opinion, the program was not necessary. In an action, AYCF said, throughout the political history of this nation, Nigeria has never had a first lady who tells the truth in black and white and without fear or favor like Aisha Buhari. It is undeniable that she tells the truth regardless of whose horse is going to be is going to get a hot apart from telling the bitter truth even to the president when his aide decided to be silent she has reputation for helping people says the youth even her harshness criticism would rather admit that when it comes to telling the truth in plain language to the president she gives her peace of mind without any social development or any aspect of her being hidden. The group, however, hailed Aisha Buhari for her recent donation to the vulnerable. Recently, she put a smile on the face of some poor Nigerians in Kano. No one thought help would come to the rescue of this Kano household. Help was always lost. But Aisha Buhari found help and brought it to the people. Well, um, it's a good thing you guys are commending her for what should naturally be Aisha Buhari's uh, position and duty. Aisha Buhari has commended uh, and has, to, uh, you know, has been commended for saying the truth without fear or favor, for always speaking out, for always dishing out the truth, for not minding anybody, going ahead and saying the truth as it is. Uh, this is a this is good because I mean she says the truth, but Nigerians would like her to say the truth even harder. We will want Aisha Buhari to tell us the truth of all that is going on in Aso Rock. Beyond what you have said, which we said yes, true. She speaks out. She even spoke out about the APC conduct of the election. She did not hide it. Not because she was in APC, she kept quiet. No, she actually spoke out, which is true. Yes, but we want her to do more. We would like Aisha Buhari to do more about telling her the truth. About all that is going on currently, 
with the with 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 the presidency. Where is where is where is Buhari? Where is uh, where is uh, uh, Osibanjo? Where are these people? They were democratically elected in as the governor and uh, as the president and uh, vice president of this country. But do you know since the uh, old corona outbreak uh, thing, we have not seen seen them visually. We've, they've not made any any uh, press briefing that they allowed the media to question them on what is going on, what are they doing. Um, it's true that Buhari comes out to read Rihad's speech, speech that we even get to know. You know, Apple Line Media reported on the speech Buhari was going to say, the very last one, speech that we leak. You know, there is no proper documentation. There is no, 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 no proper... I mean, I don't know how to put it, to be quite honest. In Nigerian's government, everything is just anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. You know, there is no proper, you know, order in, when, in, in the way things are done in the country. There is no proper order in the way things are being disposed in, in, you, you know, you know, in the government. There is no proper order. We appreciate the fact that Aisha Buhari is saying the truth, but we want her to do even more. We will want her to do even more. We want her to speak up even better, you know. For once, Nigerians need to know what is going on. Yes, Aisha Buhari, at the advent of a coronavirus, speak up. She spoke up. She put up on, on uh, you know, Instagram. Her daughter that was schooling in the UK is back, but she's self-isolating. After the isolation period, she was tested for coronavirus. She was negative. We saw her celebrating, but even the president of the country, we did not hear from him. Is that supposed to be? We did not hear from him. So she needs to do more by asking Buhari to lead. Buhari that people voted in in 2015, I don't think is the same, with the same, the same person that was going out for all his rally to almost all the states. How come all of a sudden he's so withdrawn he cannot even talk to Nigerians? The same person that will come out on rallies and will stand on top of the vehicle, hailing, putting his hands up, four and four. So what happened? How come we have not heard about that now? How come? How come we have not still seen that person with that same tenacity and you know and 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 and, 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 and lifestyle coming out to say, Nigerians, I am solidly behind you. This is what we are doing. And when we speak, Garuba Shea will say there is a presidential tax force. Nobody can order the president around. Rubbish. Rubbish. Outer rubbish. He asked for our hope, our votes. He gave us hope, told us that he was coming up with uh, this weird initiative he was coming up with to make Nigeria better. We, 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 we believed him. We went on the polls and we voted him in. So what are you telling us that we cannot uh, order the president around? Are, are you seeing Trump? Trump is, he comes out every now and again, if not every single day, to update the people on the, the advent and the recent development, what the government is doing, where they are, what drug and whatever they've come up with, what is going on, how many people have been infected, what the government is doing, where the, the work the government is putting in place. That's how leadership should be. You lead from in front. You don't leave, lead from behind. You let the people know exactly what is going on. You are there to always support them. You are there to encourage. You are there to lift up the soul of the nation, talking to the people, encouraging them. People are looking up to leaders, but in Nigeria, apparently, it seems we don't have a leader. I'm sorry to say, but that's my opinion, and I believe I'm entitled to that. So please don't criticize me. I feel strongly we don't have a leadership in Nigeria. I feel strongly that the leadership of Nigeria, it's, it's I mean, we don't have a leader. Is it that we are hearing from Garuba Shewu, or we are hearing from Femi Adeshino, or we are hearing from Lai Mohammed? This ought not to be. These are not the people we elected in. These are their personal assistants to aid them and to assist them with the leadership. Not that this people becomes our, our yardstick and it's them we are hearing from. And when you talk, they shut you up. What nonsense. Aisha Buhari, you have been speaking up, telling us that uh, what, uh, the activities of the Kaaba, we want you to do more. Yes, we would like you to do even more. We would like you to talk to the president and tell him the right thing. Perhaps he doesn't know. Perhaps he doesn't understand that as a government, he needs to lead from in front. He does not lead, need to lead from behind. He needs to understand that people are looking up to him. He needs to assure the people. He needs to quench rumors. He needs to come out and say, this is what is going on, but this is the true state. He needs to deny some things. He needs to say the truth.
he needs to come out and speak to Nigerians. You can't hide behind, uh, behind the, the closet and tell us that you are leading Nigerians. What Nigerians? Are we children? Or who, who, who do, exactly do you think you're talking to? So Nigerian, this is our position on this matter. Aisha Buhari, you know, she's been commended for speaking the truth, for telling Buhari the hard truth, but we want her to do more. She must go ahead and even do much more than what we are seeing now. Aisha Buhari must go ahead and tell Buhari that Nigerians are not happy with him, that he should come out and lead from in front. He should behave as a person, someone that was elected in, 20, in 2015, that gave Nigerians so much hope. Anyway, my people, now the matter be this. Don't forget to thumbs up for us, like and share, subscribe, click on the notification button.